Fe2H8 and what does it contain? What does it contain? Fe2O3, hydrated ferric oxide. Okay, can someone repeat after me? Hydrated ferric oxide. Hydrated ferric oxide. That's right, Fe2O3 dot H2O. Okay, hydrated ferric oxide contains one molecule of water. Okay, along with Fe2O3. Uh, this is used as a pigment in manufacturing paints. Now tell me what is the right option? Shall we go back to the question? I will share my screen again. And let's move on to the question. Now tell me, uh, you can type and tell me what is the right answer. Are you able to see my screen? Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, so the right answer is, that's right. Now everybody's got it right. Yes, very good. Good, good. Yes, yes. See, see, that's right. Okay. So the mineral that contains calcium is calcium rock phosphate. Rock. Yes, rock phosphate. That's right. Okay. Moving on to the next question. So uh, does anybody have any doubt regarding flashcards? Please prepare important terms in flashcards. And you can use them every day to learn important concepts. You can prepare it in different colors or with different papers. Write the main term and behind it, you will write what it stands for. For example, calcium phosphate, if you write in the, uh, on top of it, behind it, you will write CA3PO4 twice. Okay, does anybody have any queries? The, uh, is the explanation clear? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you will. Uh, you will. These are very important uh, flashcards. Uh, it will definitely come for your examination. Okay. So moving on to the next question. A quick recap, uh, if someone, you can also take a screenshot of all these terms and you can print it out and use it as a flashcard, all right? These four terms. Please remember even the chemical formula for each of them. Moving on, which of the following compounds is used to make lithopone? Start. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. B, are you sure, Sraffel? Are you sure? Okay. I think that's it. The answers, guys, you have to. <laughs> Oh, B. Philip also is saying B. Okay. Can yes. someone mute? Yes. Yes. What is a lithophone? Ah, I'm going to tell you that. You don't know what is a lithophone? I will just give you a clue. Okay. It's a white pigment. It is a white pigment. That's the clue. Okay. Now, oh, Trafal, again, A. How suddenly everybody's... <laughs> okay, C. Guys, you just have to take out your study guide and pen and paper and notebooks and write down. These are important questions. I can see a lot of people are not able to answer today. Okay, well, are you sure to see? Oh, my. Okay. Can I try? Yes. No, but we will we'll wait because people are typing in. So we'll wait a few seconds, okay? Okay. For you. Okay. Feven D, are you sure, Feven? No. Okay, the right answer. Let's see the right answer. A. Yes, yeah, someone wanted to answer. Uh, you can answer now. Oh, I thought it was... 
magnesium oxide because after magnesium is burnt in air, it turns white. Okay, that's right. But uh, this one is barium sulfate. Okay. Do you know how, do you want to know, do you want to see how it works? Yeah. Can you see barium sulfate? Ah, this is what they do. They add it as a liquid and give it to any patient who's suffering with gastrointestinal problems of the stomach or of the esophagus. Okay, they give it as a drink to drink and they wait and they take a radiograph, which tells the, it's a sort of an x-ray, okay? X-ray photos of intestinal tract, barium sulfate is used. A lot of students had uh, picked up B. Do you know what is B? Can someone tell me? B, and magnesium sulfate. Ah, but it is not used for making lithopone. Lithopone is a white pigment. If you can see in the picture, it is used for taking, it is used for making this lithopone, which is used for taking x-rays, okay? Option B is Epsom salt. The common name is Epsom salt. You can also make flashcards for this question as well, okay? Magnesium sulfate is used as a laxative. It is a medicine. Some students have said option C, okay? C is steel furnace. Only in furnaces it is used. What? Option D, uh, option D also is not right because calcium chloride is actually used for drying gases, okay? Because it forms very good complex with a lot of gases. Uh, so it is used for uh, drying these gases. So? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. Sorry, wait, what sorry. is Epsom salt? Epsom salt is magnesium sulfate 7H2O. Oh, okay. The option B is Epsom magnesium salt. Sulfate. That's yes. right. Okay. Hydrated magnesium sulfate is the right one. So all of you note these down. Okay. Note these down immediately. Moving on to the next question. The conversion of cast iron into steel involves... Start. Okay. Miss, can you please give us some time to answer next yeah. time? Ma'am, uh, okay. I'll start the first one. I'll start the first one. Okay, fine. Okay. So, students, will, uh, yeah, I will say start. Ma'am will, ma yeah, will give the question yeah. and the options. And the options, okay? After that, no I'll... problem, Ruth. No problem at all. I understand. No problem. What we'll do, I will read the question again. And then, sir, will say start. Is that fine? Okay, I will read the question. The conversion of cast iron into steel involves... Start. I am up options we put now. Okay. Shall I read the options as well? No, 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 no. Next, next, next. Next, next. Okay. Next one is a question or options. No problem. Fine. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes. Okay. That's it. No one else is participating. Okay. Now listen. For the conversion of cast iron into steel. Okay. What is the first step? Does anybody know? Okay. First we'll see what is the right option. I'm sure all of you are eager to know it. Yes. Lowering the carbon content. Okay. <laughs> That's the right answer. This is the D. For those of you who haven't answered, I'm going to show you in this picture. See carefully. What is the step? Yes, very oh, important blast concept. Furnace. That's right, glass furnace. Isn't this very interesting? Just look at this picture. You will be able to just imagine it, okay? Just imagine this picture. Take it into your mind. Keep seeing this. Uh, this is exactly like a mind map mind map that we are teaching you. You can take a screenshot of oh, this I and know. keep it with I you. I know how this works. <laughs> oh, good, good. That's good. Uh, for the rest of the students, I'm going to tell them how it works. Now, for iron ore, okay, the conversion of iron ore to cast iron involves adding limestone. There are three things that are being added. Can you guys type it out? What are the three things being added? 
uh, iron or coke okay. sometimes too. Okay. What about the others? If you're, uh, you can also say it or you can type it out. I and O, remember three important concepts, three important, uh, sorry, three important things that are being added. I and O is, is lime, added. Is limestone also used? Yes, of course. That's very important okay. part. Limestone, iron ore, and coke, okay? In this blast furnace. This whole thing is called a blast furnace, okay? Now the coke, okay, coke which has carbon content. Now this carbon content in the coke is reduced to CO2. If you can see, uh, my arrow is pointing to it, this equation, which is very important. Carbon is being converted into carbon dioxide. Okay, so heat is generated, a lot of heat. Now this carbon CO, okay, the CO2 is being reduced. Go to the, if you see in the next uh, two sets of reactions, C carbon dioxide is getting reduced for the iron ore, Fe2O3. Are you able to see the red one, the red Fe2O3 that is being highlighted? Okay, it gets reduced the iron, it gets reduced to Fe. Fe means iron. Now this iron is called as cast iron. It has a name. It is not the entire steel that we want. What we have is we're converting iron ore to steel. The middle process is cast iron. When does that happen? CO plus Fe2O3, okay? Your iron ore. Remember all these equations, Fe2O3 gets reduced to Fe, which is cast iron. Now we'll have to do the purification step, the third step, okay? So the third step is purification, where CaCO3, calcium carbonate, is converted into CaO plus carbon dioxide. Yeah, it's thermally decomposed. Okay? That's right, yes. Now this is done. Now this cast iron is converted into the steel that we need, okay, by reducing the carbon content. We are reducing the carbon content. We are purifying it. Now this requires an another type of furnace called as Bessemer's converter. I'm sure you would have studied. We're doing the revision of concepts. Okay, this is done in a Bessemer converter, okay? Now, then steel is produced. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any doubts? Uh, is the picture clear? Yes. Yeah. Mom, yes. can you can Let you please repeat the process again, please? Okay. Uh, the whole process. <laughs> okay, I will just quickly yeah, run through the whole process. Okay, three things we are adding: iron ore, coke, and limestone for which we are reducing the CO, okay, which is being generated. The coke is reduced to carbon dioxide, which in turn will be reduced. There are a series of steps, okay. First is carbon in coke is uh, adding with oxygen to give CO2, followed by CO2 plus, I'm sorry, yes, CO2 plus carbon will give you CO, okay. Now the CO will will react, will reduce this iron ore, Fe2O3, to give Fe, which is called as cast iron. Now this cast iron is converted to steel by lowering the carbon content. All right, now this is why we are doing the purification step. Now what happens in the purification step? Very important, CaCO3 gets converted into slag. Yeah, so you understood? Now I'm going yeah, to ask thank you something. You. Yes. Now I'm going to ask you also a fun fact. Okay. What well, you will type this. You will not answer me. You will type this answer. Now tell me, steel is stronger or iron is stronger? What could be? You can think and tell me. And Repeat. Hey, I was saying steel. Nish? Okay. Yes. Can I answer why? Uh, you'll wait, okay? We'll wait for the answers. We'll see. Okay, some are saying steel, some are saying iron. Let's see. Okay, Oana saying iron is stronger. Okay. 
Okay, yes, uh, someone uh, wants uh, to maybe explain. One second, one second, yes. one second. I will just, yes, uh, give, I will just make an announcement. Announcement. Yes, sir. So, students, yeah. uh, as I had told yesterday, that we are uploading all the videos which uh, we are doing now, live lectures on our YouTube channel. Okay. So, I have already sent the link today. So even today's lecture will be uploaded tomorrow or probably maybe day after tomorrow, right? So I am requesting all to visit the channel and subscribe and share, okay? So that you don't miss out on anything. Yes, ma'am. Please continue. Yes, sir. So is iron stronger or steel is stronger? Okay, people are still. Someone wanted to answer. Yes, someone wanted to answer. Yes, please tell me. Steel is an alloy. So alloys okay. alloys are stronger than uh, normal okay. elements. Okay. That's why steel is okay. stronger. Steel is stronger. Yes, that's very good. That's the right answer. In fact, even though steel doesn't seem that, you know, when you look at it, you will immediately think that iron is stronger. But actually, steel is stronger. Okay, steel is very strong right. than iron. That is why they use it for a lot of applications in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, moving on to the next question. Which yes, property? Yes. Yes, tell me. Uh, what do they mean by stainless steel? Stainless steel, again, and alloy. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, stainless steel. Yes, it's also an well, alloy. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, someone asked me, what is a stainless steel? It is primarily made of iron and carbon, okay? Okay. Yeah, that is also again an alloy. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so with what? Shall we move on to this question? Oh, no, wait, Asima, wait, wait. Oh, okay, we will wait. I didn't Don't read the answer wait, yet. Wait, Okay, what property of aluminium makes it useful in making airplane wings? Okay, aluminium corrodes easily, conducts heat. Oh my God, nobody is waiting. Is a light metal, conducts electricity. Start. Okay. Okay. Aluminium is used actually for making airplane beams. The main property, okay? Oh, you're a guru. Brooke, now listen to me. Pay attention. Aluminium is useful for making air airplane wings because it is very, very resistant corrosion. Okay? It is corrosion resistance. Uh, can everybody mute? There's someone who's not muted. Dagim, 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 Ed Sharon, mute yourself. Okay. Now, aluminium is. Oh, uh, God. Okay. Aluminium is. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aluminium is used for its lightness. Okay. It is very light. And it is not easily corrodable. So the right answer is it is a light metal which does not corrode easily. Okay, now moving on. Which of the following is the correct balanced equation for the reaction between magnesium and nitrogen? Option A, Mg. You can uh, see the options. We'll give you some time to work it out. Start. Oh, one set C A. Okay. 
does heaven be are you sure of heaven okay Danina. ah you can change the answer brooke yeah well, that's right yes now this is a very important equation where you have to balance the two sides okay so in a chemical reactions, you should always remember, now I'm going to teach you how to balance a chemical equation. Okay, concentrate students. In a chemical reactions, atoms are never created or destroyed. You would have learned it already, okay? Now the same type of atoms and the elements should be present on the reactant side as well as on the product side. Isn't that so? Yes, they should be uh, balanced on both sides. Only then it is a complete chemical equation. Now, balancing a chemical equation is very, very important for it to make sense because the same number of reactants should be there in the same number of product sites. What do I mean by same number? Magnesium. Seven, it's okay. It's okay. I can teach you the concept. Magnesium and nitrogen are the two reactants and it is giving as MgN, which should be balanced. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you how to do this balancing of the reaction. You will be having a lot of uh, questions, uh, which is asking you to balance the equation. Okay, so. You can move to the screen side. Now let's do a very simple reaction. I'm going to write and show you how to balance an equation. We are taking FeCl3, one of our reactants. Okay. Uh, Abeni, please stop screen sharing. Yes, thank you. FeCl3, okay, plus NaOH. Take out your uh, notebooks and work this out along with me so that you'll be able to understand. Okay, FeCl3 plus NaOH gives F-E-O-H thrice plus N-A-C-L. I'm giving you an example of this equation so that you can now tell me what is the right option. There was a lot of uh, wrong options given. So now I'm going to explain to you this reaction. Now you have seen here, what are the reactants? Students, please concentrate. F-E-C-L-3 plus N-A-O-H. These are the two reactants. Okay, what is FeOH thrice plus NaCl called? The products, right? Isn't that so? So, if you can see, these two need to be balanced because FeCl3 has three chlorine atoms. Isn't it so? Yes. Yes. So, NaCl will also require three. If you see iron, you should always see each element. Iron, NaOH, FeO, Fe on both sides, only one atom. Cl, three times. Cl here, NaCl. Now what happens? Na also has now become 3Na. So what do we do? Reactant sides, we are going to also add three. Okay, now FeCl3 plus three NaOH gives FeOH thrice plus three NaCl. Now, yes. is this a balanced equation? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to give you one more equation. And I will give you two minutes to decide whether it is balanced or not. N2, which is nitrogen plus hydrogen, gives NH3. Uh, it is not balanced. Not balanced. Yes, it's an unbalanced chemical equation because if you see, nitrogen has two atoms. Here, how many does nitrogen have? N. Kirvil. That's right. Seven, concentrate. Hydrogen is H2. And here, there are three hydrogen atoms. 
Isn't that so? Now, first, let's concentrate only on nitrogen. What about N2? How do we balance it first? We add two, okay? Two N2. Sorry, not here. N2, two NH3. Because there is two nitrogen here, you add two here. What happened to hydrogen? Ma'am, uh, ma one second, one yes. second. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this has to stop. Student, students, do you, do you want us to continue the lecture or not? Tell me this. Yes. I said, yes. Yeah, yeah, continue. Then please, stop, then please continue. stop typing. I just saw the chat and one person used a foul language. I have blocked him immediately and he will never join. Okay. He will never join now. He used a foul language. So I am warning everyone. I will stop the lectures from tomorrow. Please, please stop putting foul languages in the chat. Just focus on studies. Okay. All the teachers are working very hard for you guys. You have to understand we are not charging any money. Please. It is for your own good. So those who are interested, see, I don't mind if there are five students. I'm happy. But don't use foul languages, please. I'm requesting everyone, those who are not interested in studying, please leave immediately. Okay? Please leave. But those who want to study, please focus on what ma'am is saying. Okay? Please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm so sorry, mister. No problem. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not you, Kevin. I'm just telling you. I'm telling everyone in general. Okay? Stop, stop chatting. Okay, yes, please. yes. Okay. Yes, this is, uh, guys, this is very interesting also. And you will also benefit for your examination. So let's focus again. Okay. Shall we all focus? Okay, Olana, let's focus again. So nitrogen plus hydrogen gives NH3. And nitrogen has two here. So I have tried to balance it with two. That's right, Delina. So 2NH3. Now we should also check again. This is a very simple equation, but in the examination, you will have many more difficult ones. Okay, if you understand the basic concept, you can do balancing chemical equations. N2, 2NH2 here is again become six. Okay, there are six hydrogen atoms. So how will you balance it? What will you write here in this reactant side? Three, okay. 3H2. Now, is it balanced? So, yes. Nitrogen N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. So, now the final balanced chemical equation is, shall I write it again? So, N2 uh -huh. plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. Okay, understood? Does anybody have any doubts? It's ammonium, right? Yes. It's coming to one yes. more example. Sorry? Can we do one more example? Oh, yeah, sure. Definitely. I will give you one more. Let's do one more. Fe. I will write it down and I'll give you time to work it out also. Okay? FeCl2 plus Cl2 gives Fe. Ion, okay, FeCl3, ferric chloride. Okay, now do this for me. Yes. FeCl2 plus Cl2 gives 2 FeCl3. Can you give me the balanced equation? Mr. Mom, I have a question. Yes. How many is how how is what's the subscript for F in the product side? Fe this F E is only F E. There is no subscript for it. C L three. Chlorine has three. Three atoms. Three atoms okay. of chlorine. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Miss. Yeah. You can't do it by a B C method. Yeah, there are a lot of methods that you can use. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Sorry. Delina, very good. See, uh, there are different ways of doing it. There is a traditional method is what I have explained now. Okay. The easy one. You can also do by algebraic method. It is also correct. Yes, I can see two of them have answered. Three of, them, of you have answered. Okay. FeCl2 plus Cl. No, FeCl2 
plus Cl2. Abeni, it is FeCl2 plus Cl2. Can you send it again? Can you retype it and send it again? Yeah, the product side is FeCl3. You'll have to balance it. Okay, Arsima, yes, two FeCl3. So Fe, okay. All right. Uh, yes, Hasset, correct, Hasset. Very good. Yes, good. I'm going to give you. Yes, does anybody Hasset? Yes, good. Yeah. Sorry, I can't hear your voice. Uh, uh, not able to hear his voice. Yes, what is the question? Huh? Quibble, what happened? Okay, uh, how do I do it? Okay, for Quibble and for all the others, I'm going to solve it for you. FeCl2 plus Cl2 gives Fe. Cl3. Okay. Now, how many atoms of iron are there? First check it one by one. Fe, Fe. Okay. Only one. Now Cl2 is the point in question here. So Cl2 and Cl2. How many are there? Kirubal, can you answer? How many are there on the reactant side? Four. That's right. Four are there. Now, what about this side? Ion FeCl3. Now you'll have to find something that is in between both of them. Okay. So if we add two here, okay, it becomes two FeCl3. So how many are there on the reactant side? Two. Six. 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 There are six. six. Correct. Six. Six FeCl3. Now, when there are six FeCl3, here there is two already. Okay. Now iron. Yeah. Isn't it six chlorine? Yes. Six chlorine. Correct. Six chlorine. Okay. So let me write it down this side then. Six chlorine. Okay. Six is there. Now to balance. Now iron. How much is iron become now? Two. 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 So we have to add here. Correct. Are you able to see it? How did that? How did I add? Because iron now has two. I added this side in the reactant side. Okay. Now okay. iron has two. Now we do the how many chlorines are at the side? Four. Four. Okay. Two four. Into Hello? four plus two. So six. 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 So after you do it, you should check, recheck it one more time. Let's do it again. Two ion, this side, two ion. Chlorine, six. Chlorine is three into two, six. Now, is it a balanced equation? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you one more and you're going to do it at home, okay? For the next session, I'm going to see if anyone has the right answer. Just... Take down the equation and work it out. All right. Mm. Got the equation? Al2O3 plus C gives Al plus CO2. All right. Okay. Now you'll, get, you'll have to work this out. Now moving on to the next question. Listen, but how can the, how can the other uh, options uh, can can why can't the other options be the answer? Sorry, what? Why yes, can't can the other uh, and why can't yes. why can't the other choices be the answer? Which one? Which one are you talking about? Is it about uh, the, the question, question that we just? Uh, Okay, Al2O3 plus carbon, right? No, no, yes, you, this one. Uh, the, which of the following? Uh, uh, that one. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. Now, I'll give you a few Why seconds can I be to read. 
Why can it be A? Because if you see magnesium, if you see the atomic number, okay, and the way it combines, okay, magnesium will... Yes, sir. See, there is a compound called as Mg3N, okay? You will learn its combining capacity, isn't it? Valency. Yes. You will have to take into consideration the valency for this equation, for balancing this equation. Okay? Magnesium okay. combining capacity, yes. So the right answer is C. Can you see it's a balanced equation now? 3Mg plus nitrogen gives Mg3N2. All right? Moving on to the next question. A mixture of carbon monoxide and nitrogen is known as option A, natural gas, option B, coal gas, option C, water gas, and option D, producer gas. Curable, wait for the start. <laughs> Caleb, you'll have to wait. Start. Okay. C, B, B, B. This is something you'll just have to keep in mind. Carbon monoxide and nitrogen. Okay. D, how many Ds for the post? Okay, okay, okay. Yes. The right option is D, producer gas. Okay, I'm going to show you how I've made the flashcards for it. Okay, you can take a look and uh, please do make such flashcards so that uh, you can benefit from it. The first option is, can someone tell me what's the first option given? Natural gas. Yes, natural gas. Now, natural gas, okay, keep it in mind. What does it contain? Methane, 90% of methane. Yes, it is actually the cleanest hydrocarbon, Earth's cleanest gas because it does not give us any ash residue on combustion and yeah, it has very very little nitrogen yeah, okay natural gas okay the next option now what's the next option option b what was the next option okay coal gas now let's see what is coal gas what does it contain a mixture of what does it contain? Monoxide, of hydrogen. Yes, hydrogen. That's right. It's a mixture of all these. Okay, that is, is coal gas. So remember, natural gas, methane, coal gas, a mixture of three things. Next one is? Wait, ma'am, ma'am. What is the definition yeah. of coal what gas? What's the definition of coal gas? Now, when I say coal gas, I mean that it is going to contain, it is made from passing steam. Okay, what does it do? What do they do? They pass steam, okay, over this coal. This carbon content is going to be carbon monoxide, hydrogen plus methane. Okay, from this coal, the earth's coal is going to give us this gas, which is going to be used as fuel. Okay, now, producer okay. gas. What is producer gas? Yeah, that's the option that we need. Carbon monoxide plus nitrogen. Nitrogen, yes. That's producer gas. Again, used as a fuel, okay, which is manufactured again from coal. And this has very low heating value. So it is not, uh, it is usually used for industrial purposes, for industrial furnace. What was the last one? Water gas. Water gas. That's, yeah. Yes, water gas. So what is it made of? Carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Hydrogen. I have used two differentiating colors 
so that please you also do the same way so that you'll remember okay carbon monoxide plus nitrogen what is it what Produce is it called that. that's right Produce Produce gas. Gas. yeah but water gas what does it contain carbon and monoxide plus say, carbon monoxide and plus hydrogen yes yes so this is uh, is made by passing steam over coke okay again a carbon fuel and this is also used as fuel okay so please prepare such flashcards and it will be very useful for you moving on to the yeah what is the use of producer gas producer gas again is a fuel okay it is used for fuel gas but oh. it is not uh, used in uh, in uh, daily ways it is used in industries Oh, does it burn hot in the industry? Uh, not much. It's low heating value. It has very low heating value when compared to the others. Uh, when compared to water gas or a natural gas, when burned. Yeah, that is why we are using it for industrial purposes. Okay. 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 Yeah. Now moving on. Moving on to the next question. Okay. So the answer is carbon monoxide and nitrogen will be. Can someone answer? Producer gas. Producer gas. Very good. Yes, I can see a lot of responses. What about carbon monoxide and hydrogen? <laughs> water gas. Water gas. Water gas. What? Carbon monoxide and hydrogen? Yes. Water, water gas. Water gas. Very good. Yes, yes. For the others, those who are not answering, please make such small flashcards and keep it in memory. Moving on to the next question. Okay, I have given you these for you to keep. Uh, you can take a screenshot of it, and you can make flashcards out of it. Okay, you can take a printout and make flashcards. Okay, moving on. Which of the following blast furnace reactions is used to make slag? Please give us some time to do it. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Take your time. No problem. Take your time. I finished explaining these three reactions, so I'm sure you'll be able to answer. We just did it to make slag. Oh, Brooke has already Sorry. started here. <laughs> okay, see, very good. Azar, yes, see. Brooke, a little late, man. Did you say start, mister? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he said, he said. Oh, okay. Seven. Yes, that's right. Oh, a lot of new people have also answered. So, Rafael, yes, see, see, that's right. Yeah, I think it's right. Yeah, okay. The right answer is, of course, C. We just saw it, right? We just mm -hmm. saw in the before reaction. Moving on. Which of the following metals can be found free in nature? Which of the following metals can be easily found in nature? Is it copper, iron, silver, or magnesium? This is a very simple one. I'm sure you'll be able to answer. Start. A, is that so? Arsima, are you sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, the right answer is, do you know? Yeah, it's silver. It's not A. You know that? You know why? Because iron and magnesium, okay, out of these options, you can rule out iron and magnesium. Okay, B and D never, never found free in nature because they're very reactive, very active. They will always be filled with friends. Okay, iron and magnesium. Active metals, they will have friends. Okay, 
they're always found in, comp in the form of compounds only, okay, in any ore form. Now, the remaining options, you have copper and silver, okay? Now, copper, what happens is, mostly it is found in the form of an ore in nature, C-U-F-E-S-2, okay, is its ore. Now, silver is the only one which occurs in the free state, yes, silver itself. Are you guys, uh, you're able to understand? Silver is the only metal that occurs in the free state. So out of these options, silver is the right answer. Now, moving on. Which of the following stages in the production Please. of copper? Yeah. Yes, tell me. Oh, Brooke, is it new? Uh, okay. Yeah, remember it. Silver is the one I that I thought copper to be found naturally. In you, you thought copper? Okay, moving on to the next question. Which of the following stages? No, wait, wait, Philippos, wait. Which of the following stages in the production of copper is the last one? Uh, which means that uh, the question says, which is the last stage in the production of copper? Is it roasting, B, ore concentration, C, reduction, or D, electrolytic refining? Start. Okay. See, David. David, new one. David to say. Okay. Abel, are you sure? Yeah, Miss. Really? Okay. Let's see. Wait and see. Start the call. Okay, now moving on. Oh, Philippos, you said C. Okay, you'll have to wait for the word C. A start, okay? Now, D is the right answer. Guys, do you know? D is the last electrolytic. Okay, Caleb, now I'm going to give you a picture. Do a mind map of it, okay? Remember this. Take a I'm screenshot correct, yeah. and remember. Sorry, what did you say? I'm correct. Oh, good, good yeah, job yeah. then. Good, good. Now, remember, when we have this ore, okay, in the production of copper, what happens is, how many steps are there? How many steps are you able to see? Totally. There are seven Six. stages. Seven. Uh, seven. Seven. Seven are there, okay? Seven steps. The first step is very basic, crushing, just crushing the powder. It's okay, Caleb, it's okay. Okay, crushing the powder is the first step. Okay, now the ore. Now, what is the equation? Can someone tell me or you can type it out also? What is the chemical formula of the copper ore? How is that? What is it? What is the chemical formula for copper ore? How is it found? Does anybody know? Okay, can you tell me the, you're giving me, Caleb, you're giving me the common name. I want the chemical formula for it. Do to us? No. Sometimes. Uh, okay, but give me the chemical formula for it. T-U-O? No, no, not at all. I want the O, O format. Okay, I'll show you. Do you know CU? Are you able to see my screen? Me? Okay. Yeah. Is that calophyte? Yes. Give me the chemical formula CUFES2. That's right. That's right. Now, CU. Yeah. CuFeS2, okay? Now, what happens? It mixes with air, okay? Air has oxygen. So, oxygenation happens. And what happens here? 
here the O is concentrated. Okay. And what do we get? Cu2S. Cu2S is what we get. Okay. Then now this roasted, after this roasting process, okay, next, the third stage is roasting. What happens? Oxygen is given and sulfur dioxide comes out. What is the fourth stage? Sand. When sand is added, can someone mute? Diagram, yes. diagram, please, diagram, please mute. Thank you. Now, the step four is roasting in the presence of sand, okay? Now, when sand is added along with limestone, what happens? Slag is removed and copper one... Okay. Um, copper one sulfide... Okay, copper one sulfide is formed. All right, can you see this? Can you see the stages? I'm slowly teaching you each of the stage. Remember this. Okay. All right, now the, uh, the fourth stage is roasting with sand. Okay. What does sand contain? What can you, someone tell me? What is the chemical formula Silicates. in the sand? Silicates, I think. You're right, but can you tell me what is a chemical formula? Silicates is the right answer. SiO2. Okay, remember SiO2. Now, what is it? What happens when the ore adds with sand? Slag is formed. Slag. Okay. What is the formula for slag? Always remember the metal. Okay, any metal like calcium or magnesium or iron, along with SiO2, will become SiO3, that is slag. So here, here, what do we get? Iron with SiO2 will give FeSiO3. Again, FeSiO3. Okay, this is slag. Slag always will have silicate in it. So remember any metal, any X metal along with SiO3. Okay. Now when slag is formed, what happens next? Copper sulfide. The next one is the, that, that's right. Very good. It's getting heated in a converter and liquid copper comes which is cooled. And the last stage is electrolytic refining, pure copper. Okay, if you want pure cup, copper, yes. Uh, how does electrolysis? Uh, oh, electrolysis is a very big uh, thing, which will take more time. Okay, we will not do it today. Okay. Just remember the stage is electrolytic refining where we will get pure copper. Okay. All right. Electrolytic refining is a method of purification. Here, what we have is impure copper, blister copper. Remember this, blister copper on refining gives pure copper. So what is the last stage now? Tell me what is the option which should, which should have been here? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, remember the final stage in the production of copper is electrolytic refining. All right, seven stages from the ore to pure copper. Okay, guys, will you remember this? Yes. Okay, yeah. moving, moving yeah. on to the next question. Yes. Acids. Okay, now this is very simple. I'm sure you've been learning from sixth grade. The acids used in making aqua regia are, the options are, you can read the options. We'll give you some time for it. Start. <coughs> okay, D. Oh my God, it's Ruffle B. Yes, right. 
BAMnet, new new entry, BAMnet. B. Yeah, start with the one. Okay. The option is this one, four parts of HCl and one nitric acid. Delina, no, no, aqua regia, four parts of HCl and one part of HNO3. Now, which of the following is an equation for the laboratory preparation of nitrogen? Which of the following is an equation for the laboratory preparation of nitrogen? Start. A, okay. Which one of the following is an equation from the lab? Okay, now the right answer is A. Do you know why A? Because in the lab, NH4NO2, okay, NH4NO2 gives nitrogen plus water. Uh, some of you had uh, written other options, which is not right, okay? Remember this equation. Which of the following oxides is used as a fumigant? Okay, fumigant, meaning fungicide. It is used as a fumigant. The options are NO, NO2, SO3, and SO2. Start. Oh, Kirill, wait, wait, Michael, wait. Okay. Yeah. Yes, the right answer is SO2, sulfur dioxide. Okay. Good job, guys. Sulfuric acid, SO2. Okay. Sulfuric acid, SO2 is used as a fumigant in, uh, in grape wines. Okay. In grapes for uh, while uh, cultivating grapes. It's also used as a bleaching agent also. While uh, SO3 is used for making sulfuric acid okay no no2 and all is used for making acids like nitrous acid and nitric acid hno2 and hno3 moving on to the next question which of the following is true about carbon dioxide cycle which of the following is true about carbon dioxide cycle can you is give it... us a time here miss <laughs> okay, yes, yes, yeah, next sure. time, next time. yes definitely Important question, please remember these options and pick the right one. You see? Start. Okay. No, <laughs> they've already started answering. Yeah, but I'll not take this. Yes, yes. Ah, there are a lot of new people, Natty. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's see the answer. The right answer is combustion of, yeah, Philippos, you're right. Combustion of fossil fuels add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. Now, we'll have to see why these other options are not true, for which I'm going to show you a nice picture. Okay, see this picture. You can see that carbon dioxide is being added, okay, to the atmosphere by respiration. Animals and human beings, they add, they uh, add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, which is taken in by the plants for photosynthesis. Then when these plants and animals die, the carbon dioxide goes into the yeah, focus, guys. I'm talking about the carbon cycle here. Okay, the concept that I'm talking about is carbon cycle. The carbon dioxide from the plants after photosynthesis goes into the ground, decays, then grows back. Okay, used up as the trees and uh, during respiration, it goes into the atmosphere. So this is a cyclic process and carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere by respiration as well as from uh, even these days because of pollution 
auto uh, uh, the industries add to the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere moving on to the next question white phosphorus is stored in water because it is extremely poisonous vaporizes at room temperature melts when exposed to air burns in air start अभी कितने क्वेश्चन और बचे ये हो गया एक एक सर सिर्फ एक है अच्छा एक और अभी करूं या हां सिर्फ एक ही है अभी करूं या बंद नहीं ये भी कर ले और थोड़ा बड़ा है लाइक इट विल टेक टाइम कोई बात नहीं एक है ना चलेगा कर ठीक ना ओके थैंक यू सर या ये स्टार्ट कर ओके द आंसर इज it burns in air व्हाट आर द वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ व्हाइट फास्फोरस कैन यू कैन टाइप इट और टेल मी द आंसर the physical properties it, of white phosphorus poisonous very good yes reactiveness okay very mm. reactive mm, that's why we it don't store it outside yeah <laughs> does it white phosphorus is stored under water yes because yes it is stored in water that's right that's right guys why why because it is highly reactive okay it is highly reactive and it it's is reactive. insoluble in water it is very toxic yes 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 that is why they store it under water because it burns in air now moving on to the next question very important concept what type of conditions of pressure and temperature are required in the haber's process for the production of ammonia i am sure this this is a very very important question often asked in examinations high pressure moderate temperature high pressure high temperature low pressure low temperature or low pressure and high temperature no. absara wait oh group wait wait no. start yes hemen was the first one Okay. Okay. Jalina, you've given us two options. Okay, let's go. Shall we see for the right answer? Jalina, okay. Are you going for B? Okay. Your shares. Okay. Let's move on to the right answer. It's A. Okay, guys. It's A. Remember, high pressure. and moderate temperature okay if they say high pressure how much could it be i'm going to show you with this keep this in mind nitrogen plus hydrogen and what is the principle there is a very important principle for the production of ammonia can someone tell me it's extracted in haber process uh there is a name for this principle There is a name for this principle. Can you repeat the question, Miss? Okay, for the production of ammonia using nitrogen and hydrogen, for the production of ammonia using nitrogen and hydrogen, there is a principle that is used. Can you name the principle? The what? <laughs> Okay, I will type the principal's name. Can you tell me what this means? Okay, wait for the uh, the message. I am sure you'll be able to tell me what it means. Yeah, Lee Shatlier principle. Can someone tell me what it is? Metaglory. I don't know. Metaglory. <laughs> Lee Shatlier principle. Does anybody know? Metaglory. Surafo wait wait If you understand the principle you'll be able to answer In the Okay according to this principle it means if you want lot of ammonia to be manufactured metaglory no 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 absara it's lee shatlier principle remember lee shatlier okay shall i type it again for you so that you will remember 
Okay. Lee Chatelier, principal. Okay, Abel, very good. That's the right uh, uh, equation for it. Lee Chatelier, principal. What does it say? It says, if you want high amount of ammonia, you need a lot. This is the conditions of it, okay? Can you see the conditions here? What does it say? 400 to 45 Okay, 400 to 445 degrees Celsius. All right, and 200 atmosphere, iron catalyst. The blocks given in blue color, can you see the blue color conditions for it? Yes. So when the conditions are here, which is high pressure and moderate temperature, you will have maximum amount of ammonia manufactured. Okay. Now, this ammonia is a reversible process, right? Because, do you know the equation? Someone, uh, Abel, I think, did the right equation for Haber's process. If you can see, yes, Haber's process. Please remember this equation always. Nitrogen plus 3 H2 gives 2 times NH3. We so even try balancing. Kya Sorry, correct option. Kya tha iska? A, sir, take, take a, take a. high Haan, pressure take a, take a. and moderate temperature. Okay. So, please remember this equation for Haber's process. All right. Any okay. questions? Can you show us the equation again, please? Yes, sir. of course. Here. Nitrogen. We just did the balancing also for it. If you remember, I started with this equation. N2, H2, air gives 2 NH3. Please. What is the catalyst that... Yeah, yes, tell me. What is the use of the iron catalyst? Oh, this catalyst is going to increase the speed of the reaction. Uh, okay, for okay. Uh, giving more amount of ammonia. Okay. In one direction. If you can see, this is a reversible process. I can go on talking about this process. Okay. Uh, we'll do it in the next session. This Haber's process is very important. Please remember the equation. And also, please remember the conditions for it. High pressure and moderate, okay. moderate temperature. temperature. Okay. Moderate temperature. All right. Any okay. doubts? No. Okay, so no. moving on. Time flew by. We have done a lot today. So I'm going to leave with a study tip for all of you who are doing chemistry. Do remember that whenever you sit down to study, you will always sort your notes into two types. Okay, that's the study tip for today. Some uh, chemistry requires concepts, okay, which will require practice. We'll have to solve equations. Or you'll have to remember the concepts. Some will require facts. You just have to remember them. That's it. Okay. So always make a list of two things. One side, you're going to prepare a list of all the concepts. And you will try to practice them. The more you practice, the better it will come. Okay. And some will just be requiring facts. All right. So I'm sure you just had a nice session. If you have any doubts or queries, you can always contact us and we'll be able to solve it out. Okay. Right, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Great, Thank great, you. great. I hope so. Thanks. I hope everyone enjoyed the session and I think a lot of new things to learn, right, today? Yeah. And especially yeah. thank you. Yes. Thank you, ma'am, for the study tip. So I hope everybody will use the same study tip for their uh, for their studies. So guys, we have two more days, right? For the grand finale. And yes. as promised, yeah. on uh, Saturday, we will have a very good session uh, where uh, there will be a different set of rules which I will send you uh, either tomorrow evening or on Saturday morning. Okay, but for tomorrow, we all again have a very, very good chance of scoring. So prepare well for chemistry session today. See you all tomorrow. Okay.
Bye. Bye. What's Ciao. tomorrow's Bye. Bye. Tomorrow is chemistry. Tomorrow is chemistry okay. again. Tomorrow is chemistry. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Bye. 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 Mister. Mister. Bye. Yes, 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 Sorry, yes, Mister. Yes. Bye. Can you tell us today's winner? Uh, today, uh, the maximum questions were answered by Yosias. I will not tell how many, but yeah. But uh, there is there is a very tough competition between all I think three or four people. So tomorrow I will announce it in the morning. Okay, wait for it. See you all. Bye. Take care. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Bye. Bye.